not idly do the leaves of Lorien fall. Hello, crafty nerds. As a Lord of the Rings fan, I always wanted to own a leaf of Lorien, a brooch that the Fellowship received from the elves. But I didn't want to spend any money on it and to be honest, the ones you can buy are not even completely accurate in color and shininess. So I'll show you how to make one yourself for cheap that doesn't look too bad for a DIY version. So it begins. To start with, you're gonna need a template. Normally I'm too lazy for this, but in this case it really made a huge difference. Then you're gonna take an empty soda can and it has to be an Assassin's Creed can. Just kidding, what it looks like is not important. Put your template anywhere on the can, it doesn't matter where, and stab it with scissors. Then just cut out a piece that is big enough. Be sure to cut away the sharp and ragged edges because they can be really pointy. You can see that the metal is a bit curved, so we need to flatten it out. Take a round object like a marker and bend the metal the opposite way. Next, you're gonna need some fabric as a surface for embossing. This works quite well with old jeans or pretty much any fabric. I used four layers. So place the metal with the silver side up on the fabric and secure the template on the metal with some tape. Then take a pen and trace the template. Don't go over the lines more than once. When you remove the template, you can see that you transferred the lines onto the metal. Now we need a pen that doesn't work. It's kinda ironic that it was hard to find an empty pen, but I finally found this slightly embarrassing one. So first you're just gonna go over the lines once again. You can correct them a bit and make them more tidy. Then we're gonna turn around the leaf. And we're gonna fill in the lines like you would in a coloring book. And this will really give the leaf its shape. We're gonna do the same everywhere until everything is filled in. So far it looks like this. It's getting there. We'll just repeat the same steps as before to give the shape more definition. So I'm going over the outlines again. And like here you can also go further than the outlines, which can help to create more depth. But don't force anything too much. It won't look good and the metal can even tear if you exaggerate. If you see that the metal is bending like here and it bothers you, you can cut a bit of it away and it will relieve some tension. But still don't cut too close to the leaf. Also go over the veins again. And just repeat going over everything from both sides until you're happy with the shape. So this is what it looked like when I was done. The next step is to cut it out. There's not so much to say about it except that I find it a bit tricky to make the corners look nice, so try to be very exact when cutting them. And this is what I got. Now it's time to paint the leaf. I used acrylic paints and a random brush to mix a metallic green shade. Basically all you need is green, black and silver. But I also mixed in a little gold. I put some tape loops on the back of the leaf and attach it to my painting surface. and then I painted it with a very thin layer. This is quite important because the paint won't stick to the metal if the layers are too thick. Also, I'm not using any water to dilute the paint for the first coat. Wait until the paint is dry, then give it another coat. 
Now you can use a bit of water to make the paint smoother. And then everything should be covered. If you need another coat, I would only apply a very thin layer. The next step is to give the leaf its veins. To do that, we're gonna scratch the metal with a map tack or any other needle that is as sharp as possible. You can look at references from the internet to know where to scratch. I started with the edges and I did the inner lines after that. Here's the result. I admit this is quite detailed work and a little tricky, but I enjoy doing it. When you're happy with the veins, make sure that there's no dust on the leaf so you can seal the paint. I used matte nail polish because I didn't want it to look shiny, but you can use any other seal like Mod Podge or if you don't mind the shininess, regular white glue or regular clear nail polish. Now to the silver vines that wind around the leaf. For this I used aluminium wire that matched the thickness of the veins. In my case it's 1mm thick. It is made from the same metal as the leaf and doesn't lose its color over time. But it's almost too easy to bend so be aware of that if you use it too. Basically we're gonna need 3 pieces of wire. For the arches bend the wire at the end to get a corner. This will go here. Then form the arch connecting these two parts. You don't have to be so exact for now. Leave a bit of extra wire and cut it with pliers or strong scissors. Then repeat for the other arch. This is what it should look like approximately. Then for the third piece make another sharp corner. This one will go to the tip of the leaf. The rest will be shaped later on. Now take a hot glue gun and if you don't have one I think you could use clay to attach the wires. I'm starting with the longer piece and I'm gluing the corner to the back side of the tip. Then I'm winding the wire around the leaf looking at references. And I'm forming a loop at the top like here. At this point I remembered I need to make sure to have enough space for a safety pin. You could of course use an actual brooch pin if you wanna be fancy. So keeping the safety pin in mind, shape the wire and snip it off. Glue it on. And that vine is done. Next I took one of the arch wires, pulled it through the loop and glued the corner on. Then I did the same with the other arch. I shaped the wire so I could glue it well, cut it off and glued it on. So the vines are done. Now only the pin is left. Use a lot of glue to make it stay in place, but be careful not to block it. Here you can see it doesn't move and it still closes. Now it's as good as done. I just painted the back silver. It's still not super pretty, but it almost looks like it has been soldered. 
So that's it. It's done. Now you can wear your leaf of Florian as a brooch or even as a necklace and give some to your friends so you can find them when orcs kidnap them. You never know. If you want to become a member of this fellowship, subscribe, like, comment and share. It really helps me out and makes my day. And may the stars shine upon your faces.